Hello and welcome back to NDI Central Live. My name's Rex Olson and we are webcasting live once again from the new tech booth at NAB 2018. Well, this next company uh, you'll probably be familiar with. Uh, you've probably heard of them before. They've been around for uh, quite some time. Right now I have Randy Martins, uh, product designer for Avid. Hi, Rex. Welcome. How are you? Thanks Good. For How are you? Good. Well, so I hear that Avid uh, now is uh, NDI enabled. Yes. Uh, so what we've been working on for the last several months uh, is uh, NDI plugin for Media Composer and Media Composer Ultimate. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a customer request come in last year. Uh, we've been developing the plugin for the last several months, and uh, we're getting ready to uh, ship in the next uh, month or two. And so, what do you think of uh, NDI technology? Um, it's great. It's been really well received by our uh, customers mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, the people have been seeing it. We're demoing it in our booth, uh, in our Whisper Suite, and uh, people are really excited about it. What are, what are some of the uses uh, you think uh, people will be? Well, certainly, um the way it works in Media Composer is uh, once the plugin is installed, uh, you'll have the ability to uh, click one uh, button in the timeline. It will start to let you know that you're transmitting. Anytime you scrub the blue bar or you go to the source browser and hover scrub clips uh, from sources, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be feeding it out. That's and great. so we see uh, this possibly working for uh, certainly uh, review and approval possibilities. Uh, you could even certainly uh, use Media Composer to play directly out to air or to a switcher. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think. You know, we're still exploring kind of where we can go with this. Uh, we'll be seeing what our customers can do with it and really look forward to growing the product. I think, I think review and approval is uh, going to be a big use. Um, th the fact that an editor can send the output of the, their timeline to basically any computer in the building. Yeah. I think that's pretty strong. Yeah, 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 and the quality looks really good. Yeah, it looks yeah. great. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, uh, you've just implemented, is it available now? No, it's coming, okay. uh, we're expecting to ship in the Q2 time frame. Okay. Um, we've still got a few rough edges to work out, um, but um, right now what we're looking at is a transmit capability from Media Composer, mm -hmm. but going forward, we're also looking at the possibility of a capture. Uh, so you'd be able to uh, subscribe to the stream and capture it into uh, Media Composer uh, and translate uh, code those into uh, uh, MXF op Atom files for being managed media. Fantastic. What are, what are some of the other uh, new additions to Avid? Oh, well, certainly um, last year we introduced uh, a virtualized media composer for an on-prem facility. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things we're looking to explore is how can we integrate NDI into that capability? Mm -hmm. So you'd be able to spin up a virtualized media composer, sit on your client, and then see if uh, we can leverage that for possibly for monitoring, for example. Interesting. And getting high res, uh, yeah. full resolution back. Yeah. Wow. And one thing um, you know to think about is uh, we've, uh, we've leveraged our, what we call our open IO SD and this is traditionally for hardware-based OpenIO. So if you connect uh, one of our devices to it, uh, you know, traditionally it would be SDI out. Um, we actually retooled that kit uh, to be software only. Uh, so uh, no hardware required. Uh, you'll basically go to the timeline, enable the uh, transmit button. Uh, it'll let you know that we're uh, enabled and transmitting, and you're off. A lot of uh, talk about virtualization. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you, you know, uh, we made an announcement uh, about a virtualized product. Um, Avid's going down that road as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got a great partnership with Microsoft. Uh, we're developing uh, a um, product for in the Azure environment as well. Yep. Very powerful. We're going to see more and more of that oh, there's uh, no question. activity. There's no question. Great. So, um, so. In general, as far as NDI goes, you see that uh, you do see that as being um, a part of the future of Ad Avid, obviously, with some yes. of the things that you've been talking about. Yes, obviously, yeah. um, you know, uh, things like 2110 are bridging technology, um, and NDI is uh, starting to play in uh, the VOIP as well. Mm -hmm. And so, ultimately, we're um, proud to present this technology, which is up and running today. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we're really excited for it. And do so we're you have it, it here at, uh, at the show? We are demoing it up in our booth, up okay. on the second floor of the South Hall. As uh, And feel free to swing by and take a look. And okay. uh, like we said, it looks really sharp. We're really proud of it. Great. Randy, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're proud, proud to about be it. partnered with all the other uh, great companies that you guys are with, and we look forward to driving it forward. Fantastic. Randy Martins of uh, Avid, thank you very much, and uh, thank you. Um, stick around. Uh, we're going to have more after a break. So come right back.